Plug Any Mile Living Channel. Well, it's Friday, September 2nd. September's here. Labor Day weekend. That's good and bad. It's good that it's a holiday weekend and we all get to spend some time with our families, but it's also the end of summer, unofficially. It's <sighs> too bad. But, one of the nicest times of year is right around the corner and that's fall, so that's a good thing. And then uh, winter will be upon us. So, uh, anyhow, today I uh, am making a video on the next step for the cottage project, the off-grid on-site septic system or sewer disposal system. I have the application for permit here and I wanted to go over it with you guys and just show you the typical application. Uh, I'm sure it's going to change from state to state but uh, this is the one for the state of Pennsylvania so anywhere in this state it will look just like this. But it'll give you a good idea of uh, what the permit application process is all about, what it looks like and uh, if you guys go to the cottage project property or cottage property project uh, playlist under all my playlists at the bottom of the uh, cover page you can go to the past two videos I believe on the project which would be uh, just the overview and I was going over how the system was laid out and everything and then the one before that was actually when I met with the the designer and the engineer for the first time going over some of those steps and everything so if you guys haven't been following the series you can go back to that playlist I put everything for the Raystown Cottage property project under that playlist so it'll all be there if you need to catch up on anything for any of the newer subscribers or anybody that just hasn't had a chance to watch them. So let's uh, let's get a closer look at this thing and I'll show you what it's all about and uh, we'll go from there. Okay so here it is. It's uh, one page with uh, carbon copies. There's a pink, a yellow, and a green copy. The yellow is yours. The uh, pink goes to the regional office, and then I believe the uh, green goes to the central or county office. Yeah, central office. And then the white goes just to the local agency, uh, whatever county you're in. And as you can see, it's got the Pennsylvania logo and everything on it. Department of Environmental Protection, DEP. Uh, application for rolling lot sewage disposal system permit. And it's pretty straightforward. Um, your name, site address, which we don't have an address at the at the cabin pro uh, property, so we'll have to go by a parcel number or something on here. Um, there are lot numbers up there on that subdivision on the mountain, so I can put that down, and then I'll probably do a parcel number two. Uh, lot size, you can give uh, the acreage or square footage of your lot. Type of facility, so this would be a cabin. Or if you're building a home, whatever, it would all be similar. Uh, what else do we have here? Activity. Um, that's uh, if you're building a new one or doing a repair work or modification. In this case, it's a new system. Uh, check if it's a single family residence, multi family residence. Um, down here is uh, this is for the agency actually, planning department and everything, but uh, shows the fees. Application is $250. Uh, the inspections are going to charge me $150 for those. Uh, the other was $100 because it went from one one inspector to another so he had to go up and field verify that everything was as per the perk testing like the first inspector said which it was and all worked out 
for a grand total of $500. The $500 covers the inspections, uh, him going to look at this, and then my permit. So that's basically what it's going to cost you, around 500 bucks, give or take 100 bucks or so, I'd say. At least in the state of Pennsylvania, like I said, it can differ from state to state, which I'm sure it does. Um, but this will give you an idea of what you're getting into if you're uh, going to build a cabin or a, or a home. And uh, at least you'll have an idea of what you're looking at. And uh, that's one of the main reasons I wanted to make these videos. I had planned on documenting the cottage from start to finish, and this is all part of it, so I wanted to bring you guys along for all this. Um, this isn't the very fun part of it. It's uh, not the part that I like, I can tell you that. I'm, like I've said in past videos, ready to dive into it and start construction, but we have to get through all this. Um, I needed to know where the septic system was going. And then I need to know from there where I'm going to put my well because you got to be, you know, 100, 150 feet away. You don't want a contamination issue. And then once I had those two items located, that locates where exactly I'm going to set the cottage. And in the meantime, I'm trying to say this is my acre and a quarter down there. I'm trying to keep everything up at this, well, not in the corner, but up on this side so the rest of it's all wooded and untouched. So I'm up at this top end of the property. Uh, so that's about it for the the application. There's not much to it. Uh, and just sign here and uh, send it back. And then the uh, sewer enforcement officer, SEO, will sign it and fill this all out. And uh, double check everything. And then he will send you your application. Now in this county where the uh, summer home is going to be, the cottage, uh, this permit once issued is good for three years and then once the three years would come up which it won't happen for us but if you were to get one of these and couldn't get it in in three years you can file and get another permit I believe under that but you're gonna have to pay I think the application fee at least on it uh, probably not the rest of it just the application fee maybe another hundred for them to go out and verify everything I'm not sure but we're not going to let it get to that. We're uh, going to do it within three years and hopefully get it started here uh, within the next year, actually. So that's the next step. Uh, I wanted to go over it with you guys so you guys can see what's going on. All right, so that's about it for the uh, system application permit. Uh, there's not much to it, really, at this point, uh, as far as this goes. Um, just a recap on what we went through to get to this stage, this point. Um, for those of you that are new to the channel and haven't gotten a chance to see the previous videos. Um, it all started with a perk septic testing. Which I actually had done on the, on, uh, the seller's uh, dollar before I bought it. I worked that deal in where I wanted it to pass. For the amount of money that we agreed on so that was all part of that um, and then from that point i uh, then met with a designer uh, surveyor uh, explained to him what i was doing there what the system was for and if any of you guys are going to build a cabin and you're going through this off-grid uh, system like this you're going to put a in-ground system type deal in um, Make sure you let your designer know that what your intentions are, that you're going to build a cabin. Because he can generally size it lower if it's just a cabin or a recreational use type deal, cottage, summer home. Um, it's, say, it's going to save me money in the long run and it makes my leach field smaller um, because it is going to be a cabin. So that helps out uh, a lot. It cut a lot of square footage down off my leach field, which is less limestone, less topsoil, less pipe, less labor, less everything, so it really helps. Um, once I met with him, he took all my information, and by the laws and uh, everything set forth, he come up with a design, and with his design, he suggests and specifies the pumps, the tanks, the tank sizes, the leach field size, the slope, the grade, 
the berm sizes and everything. And uh, from there, we uh, take that and we turn that over to a sewage enforcement officer. He reviewed it. He went out and looked at the property to verify uh, the, the perk testing was done as per the last inspector because I had a, the first inspector did it retired on me and the new guy come in and uh, he had to verify it. That's what that one $100 charge was for. But uh, once he verified that and he was good with it, then he sent me this application, which we have now and we're at that step. So once I send this in, He's pretty much already looked at it and we've talked and he said everything looks good to him, he's good with it. Uh, this should be my permit, I should be getting the permit then. Now what's coming up with it? Well, once I have a permit in hand and I know 100% this system is going to go in just like this and how we have planned it and talked for, I can sit down, I can start writing up a bill of material. What I'll do is I'll write up a takeoff, I call it, I'm an estimator. so. Uh, these are the terms of the trade, but I will write down on a sheet every piece, part, and uh, component for this system, down to the last coupling, uh, holding tanks, pumps, you know, everything. I will put all this down on paper, and I will then price each item, tally it all out, come up with a material price, and I, I'll probably do a video going over how to do a takeoff and how to... Uh, get your quotes from your excavators and everything and that'll be the next step uh, or during the process I'll contact I have an excavator I think I'm going to work with down there on it he uh, was the gentleman that actually brought on my bank show up for when I cut the road in and did the clearing where I did where it's all cleared out last year he came through uh, right at the end of fall and I really appreciated that and I, I think I'm going to work with him on it there's only two guys that I can call and the one guy doesn't have real big equipment, and that's, you know, up on that mountain. It's just, there's stone everywhere. So I think this this gentleman here would be the best fit. And he knows the area. He's worked up there before. He just did a system for one of the neighbor's cottages up above me. So he's well aware of everything that goes on up there and what the place is like. And when I had actually talked to him about it last fall and told him I was probably going to give, give it to him. But what I want to do is see what I can do myself to help him and help my wallet uh, as far as lowering the amount of work that he has to do. Um, I'm planning on doing all the site prep, clearing the trees, clearing the area. And when you prepare these leach fields like this one, this accurate system, all you do is cut the trees down as far as you can and uh, scrape the ground up or chisel plow and that's it. The stumps stay, you don't pull them up. They don't want you to disrupt the ground really. Uh, because that's how it was already designed to the numbers of the percolation rates of that soil the way it is. They don't want it compacted or you know anything changed about it. And uh, the tank will go in the ground. The tank with the uh, pump in it will go in the ground. And then the leach field will come out of that tank and just lay on the ground and then it gets built up with a berm of uh, limestone and then uh, topsoil over top of the limestone and that's it. Um, limestone is going to be expensive and the topsoil is going to be really expensive because it's hard to come by down there. It's a mountain. They're all mountains. It's all stone and bank shell down there so it's going to be expensive to get uh, topsoil. Uh, the tank's a thousand gallon tank and there's a 500 gallon tank where the pump goes in. So. I have to price all that up and I have to get with him and see what he's willing to let me do to help me with the pricing. Um, I'm hoping to catch him in the spring when he first comes back from Florida and is looking for work. Hopefully I can get my best pricing at that time. That's usually uh, when guys are looking for work and they'll throw you a decent number. So we'll see what happens. I might even purchase all the material and have it brought on site myself. And he doesn't even have to worry about it. All he does is come in and do the install and uh, the excavation work. So we'll see how that all goes out. We'll have to play it out here and see. But that's the next step. That's how this is going to go. Um, it's a pain. It's a pain getting through all this. Like I said before, all I want to do is just build this cabin and use it. The building part's the fun part. 
Uh, I can't wait to do that. I can't wait to share it with you guys building this cottage. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun and uh, hopefully you guys can learn something out of it. And I just want to show everybody out there that you can do this stuff for yourself. Uh, you don't need to hire somebody to do everything. If I can do it, you can do it. Believe me. Uh, I'm just a big dummy, you know. I'm not, I'm not some rocket scientist or Superman that can do anything, you know. I'm just a normal guy lives out in the country that uh, just taught himself how to do things over the years, you know. When you're, when you're poor and you need to fix something, you learn how to fix it. Or if you're cheap, you learn how to fix it, you know, because you don't want to spend the money, so. Same with building things and whatnot, you know, you just, you learn how to do these things. So, anyhow, I guess that's about it for this video. Um, just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers and all the current subscribers, everybody that supports the channel. Thank you so much for all, the, all that you do, all your comments. Um, I love interacting with you guys. It's always great, great subscribers I have. I'm very fortunate. You guys are all wonderful. Um, if you guys uh, are on Instagram or want to get on Instagram, we uh, have an Instagram account. And throughout the week, I'll post things, you know, between videos, uh, pictures, or a, a quick little video or something on there. And uh, it's Allegheny underscore Mountain underscore Living. That's the Instagram account. Uh, if you know anybody who would like to channel, please share the videos with them on your Facebook account or on you know whatever media social platform you use, or just tell them about the channel. You know, tell them to check the channel out and see if it's something they'd be interested in. Really trying to get the uh, subscriber count up. Um, we we'll get new subscribers, you know, every week, but I need all the help I can get to uh, boost the uh, account up. Uh, if you guys like the videos, please hit the thumbs up. Remember to do that because that really helps. Uh, YouTube will place us better if there's a lot more thumbs ups on certain videos. You know that that's part of their uh, part of their thing. You know to help place a video. If they see it's getting attention and a lot of likes, you know, and a lot of views, they will automatically place you on suggested videos. So that helps a lot get us out there, you know, it helps people find us. Because, I mean, every day I find channels I've never even heard of, and there's millions and millions and millions of people out there that, you know, never even heard of us or know nothing of us. So all the help I can get from you guys, I appreciate it, and it all helps greatly. So, so I uh, appreciate everything as always. I will see you guys on the next video. Oh, and have a wonderful Labor Day weekend with your families. I hope you guys all enjoy yourselves. Be safe. Um, just spend time with your family. You know, kick back, relax a little bit. And everybody that's not in the States, I just hope you have a wonderful weekend. So, see you guys on the next one. Until next time, have a great evening.